Bonjour Chic friends, thank you for joining me today. I have decided to do another video and I know it's been a while so here I am and I have a topic for today. Today I would love to talk to you about a chic technique which is the chic pattern interrupter. Now when we are going about building our chic lives and tweaking things to make them, to make our life as chic as we would like it to be, there can be times when we are a little bit in a rut, a bit bogged down and we are just going through day to day things and life gets a bit boring. That is when I love to use my chic pattern interrupter and it's just shaking things up a little bit and I suppose it's, you could have a list, I mean I have a list in my head but I do write things down sometimes as well and it's ways that you can shake things up that you don't become too dull and staid and unchic because it's easy to slip into frumpdom. I know that myself with my wardrobe or just habits that I get into. So I've been having a think about ways that we can use the chic pattern interrupter which just it affects the circuits of the brain apparently according to uh, scientific people. Um, because we can get into this little bit of a, a groove where um, the, the brain likes comfort so um, it doesn't like us doing different things, the mind apparently so that's why it's so easy to get into a rat. So what kinds of things do I find helpful? And I'd also love to hear some of yours at the end of the video if you could leave me a comment. So. I really love movies. Um, I find watching a French movie on DVD or even going to the movies really good. I also like stylish movies. We watched The Devil Wears Prada a couple of weeks ago and oh, that movie never fails to inspire me um, to dress better and take fashion more seriously, you know, because it needs to be taken seriously. Um, other things I like to do are dress up and um, maybe just dress up a little bit and go into the city. I like to walk around the city, pretend I live somewhere bigger than I do, <laughs> and going to the city always makes me feel like that. And I don't even have to spend any or much money at all. You might just buy a drink or you might not even buy anything. It's just nice to absorb the energy of being in the city. And if you don't live somewhere big, maybe you might go to a stylish part of town. Um, I love doing that too, going to suburbs that are really quite chi chi and um, soaking up that atmosphere as well. Um, another chic pattern interrupter is to do the exact opposite of what you normally do. So if I normally make my lunch every day, it feels really luxurious to go to a cafe and buy something ready made. Um, because I am quite thrifty and quite frugal, it generally involves doing something uh, sorry, buying something that I would normally do for myself. Uh, but if you're the kind of person that might eat out all the time, you might decide to get some ingredients and cook dinner at home. Another thing, we normally stay in every night because we just love being at home. We work with the public, my husband and I, so um, we just love our own space, but every so often we'll just get the notion to go out. So we might go to a, an inexpensive place for dinner or something like that. And it just really, because we do it so infrequently, it really um, makes a big difference. And it's, I don't know, just gets a buzz out of it. What else have I got on my list? Um, oh, that's a fun one. I have a wish list of things that I want to do in the future and it's little things and big things, it might be holidays, it might be projects, uh, so one thing I like to do is pick something off my wish list and start making a plan and even if it's not going to happen for a while or um, is quite ambitious, it's still fun to put plans into place because you never know what might happen and uh, you might get an idea that you can move something forward. Uh, quicker than you thought you might have or it's not going to cost as much as you thought it was as well um, so going through a wish list of fun projects is a neat thing to do to pick one out of that here that's another one too I um, 
sometimes leave it quite a long time between my hair appointments because it just grows longer and you don't need to cut it as much as when you have short hair. So um, when I realise it's been maybe a couple of months overdue, I just book a hair appointment and that really, oh, hair appointments make you feel so good. I mean, I still don't do them enough, but um, I mean, I am quite thrifty, so that's probably why. Yeah. Um, hmm. So I think that's probably my list of chic interrupters today, chic pattern interrupters. Um, probably my last one's a book because everything always comes back to a book for me. I might go to my bookshelf and pick a book that I, because you know, the thing with me, and I don't know if it's like this for you as well, I have tons of really nice books and they're fiction and non-fiction. And I don't tend to hang on to a fiction one after I've read it, but I have so many fiction books and I've already thinned them out. I've probably got about maybe 20 or 30. That's probably not much for some people, but a lot for others. And I plan to read them all. But I also like to get library books out. So um, picking a book off my shelf and reading it, that's different for me than getting a library book out. Hmm. I realise that... None of my things might be very exciting for some people. None of my pattern interrupters. Um, but I would love to hear yours. So please tell me um, if you have got some things that you like to do to shake it up when you feel like life's becoming a little bit boring or a little bit unchic. And um, please share them with me in the comments. Thank you for watching. And uh, this is Fiona at howtobechic.com. I didn't mention that at the beginning, but I'm just saying it now. So thanks for listening. See ya.